medical lab generally, their disposition is if they see somebody new or something new, it's curiosity, playful, and inviting, usually. Uh, but Gabby just had two labs come in, and one of the labs is, is not acting like that, acting very standoffish, concerned, and not curious. So usually we look for, is the dog curious, leaning towards more curious, or leaning towards more cautious. And this dog was cautious, to the point where Gabby did her normal greeting, like, yo, come here, how you doing? And leaned down, and the dog um, eventually spooked and just ran out the room. Now that's not typical of a lab. So you're wondering, wow, is this bad breeding? And I say, I haven't seen that yet with, with labs to be that bad. That wasn't a mix. So I'm gonna guess that this probably isn't bad breeding. What's probably happening is the other piece of the puzzle is the brother. Now the brother's temperament, and I, I guess this, I haven't even seen the video of the brother, I guessed, hey, I bet you the brother is assertive and dominant, right? Or is more, he sees something in the environment and he goes and takes care of it, right? He leads towards confident and maybe curious, right? Yeah. Cautious, curious, confident. These are different temperaments, right? So we want them all to be curious and we, we, they're supposed to be cautious. They're supposed to be all of them at the right times. But what happened is she leaned on her brother during all these experiences because they live together. So you imagine they're always together. So something new enters the environment and the brother, what she does, she waits back. The brother goes up and checks it out for the very first time. And she leans to see if he thinks it's okay. Then I'll come up with people, places and things, right? The brother wasn't here in this video, right? With this lab, it was just her. And she acted like that because her she hasn't had the proper experiences to develop, right? To learn good judgment. Is this safe? Is this human safe? I can't, I can't quite tell all the signs because my brother always did that for me, right? So that's what can happen. And in this training, what's gonna happen is we're going to fill in those gaps. We're gonna give her off-leash training, right? The e-collar training. But our main focus is also to make sure she gets the experience she needs while she's here to mature her and get her more balanced, all right? So she knows, you know, being cautious is all right, but you have the skills you need to decipher the situation, how you should behave, okay? So go to work, Gabby. We get to the brother and I watch the video and I see that's a lab, but it's barking, it's cautious, confident. Yes, is it a bluff? I don't know, I'm not there, maybe. But assertive, now you think that's not what a lab looks like. And why is that? Because labs are one of those breeds that we've done a really good job at, at like really getting that predatory brain to just accept humans. <laughs> They just don't go off at humans. Like they come out of the womb wagging their tail when they see humans, you know? So, you, you, so when you buy a lab, that's what you're hoping to get. Now, as a professional, do I see labs that are assertive? Yes, I do. But they're usually mixes. They're usually mixed with something. They usually are. The purebreds, they're stubborn, but they're like airheaded, you know? And when they see things more on the curious side, even when they're confident, they're airheadedly confident and just like going forward not thinking everything's la la land you guys know labs right but here's the thing when i'm not knocking the breeding i'm trying to, i'm trying to go at all sides like what is it lack of experience it's probably a little bit of everything or maybe it's just the experiences who knows what you what could happen if you look at the whole litter this is what this is the, what i'm getting to whenever a dog has a litter the temperaments vary and so generally speaking there's one that's going to be more confident than the rest, more curious, right? And there's gonna be these ones at the back of the pack that are a little bit more insecure and nervy, right? And then maybe a little bit of everything in between. Which ones did you get? Okay, so there's that too. It's like even within the breed, there's going to be um, what you would call like the, the top pick, right? And there'd be some middle ones hanging out and then there'd be like, what do they used to call that? The runt? <laughs> that's just how it goes. So which one did you get? And then so if you get like runts, right, who really need good leading so that you can teach them because they need a little push out there to go, hey, go check things out, you know, because they overreact and stuff. If you get one of them, 
with a middle of the road dog who's not, see the thing about the top pick, if, for my top pick is they have good judgment. They come out, they have the best judgment from the get-go. Before experiences, they're just wired where they can take a look calmly and decipher and make a decision, right? These are the best uh, for leading, these types of dogs. But you don't get that one. You're gonna get the middle of the road one who then lives with you and tries to be the one that leads. So that's what I see with the guy that you got right there. That lab, he wants to be, to lead, to be that, that leader of the pack, but he's not meant to do it. I can tell by his posture. He, he doesn't have great judgment. He's barking at somebody who's not even dangerous. So, so this guy's trying to put himself in that role, all right? While the, the humans are sitting back, and I'm not saying, I'm just saying you are, because the dogs, they're taught, they, they know that, you know, the humans aren't in on this game, this, this, this primal thing. You know, they feed us, they do this. Sometimes they get annoying and they tell us not to do things and they hold us back with these strings, right? <laughs> these ropes. But they don't, they're not really involved with the whole social thing, right? I'll take care of how I feel about other dogs and humans. That's what this guy wants to do, but he's not meant to do it. So that's why you see his reactions are poor. They're poor. So breed, a, breed aside, it doesn't matter the breed, right? I'm not even looking at the breed. I'm just saying this guy's a middle of the road dog. He's not meant to lead and he's trying to lead. And, he's, and now he's trying to lead, which is a faulty leader. He's not going to do good. But you got the insecure one who's following the leader who's not doing good. So the humans need to come in, right? Because they don't have a good role model for a dog to follow, to teach them the way. So they need a, a human, which is the whole thing that I got paid to do. It's like bridge that gap so a human can teach a dog how to behave. I use all the dogs to have them learn how to behave towards dogs and in a pack. And then I use myself, obviously, and, and my family and friends to teach them how to behave, and my community, to teach them how to behave in the modern human world and all the skills they're gonna need. So this will help both of these, this experience is gonna help both of them. But it's like, where's it coming from, right? Why they like this? So it could just be, those are the ones out of the litter. It could just be, maybe some of the breeding isn't fully dead on. It could just be experiment, uh, missing some experiences that they needed, the pivotal moments to help them develop. It could just be a little bit of all of it. Because the thing is, is this, this field, when you, uh, when you go to buy a dog, it's risky business. You don't really know what you're gonna get, right? It's like the chocolate, you know? What's that Forrest Gump saying? What, what is that saying? Life you know, is like... like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. That's what I'm seeing with these two dogs. That's what I'm imagine happened. Um, and then what I'm going to guess is Gabby's going to work with them and bring the insecure girl up in confidence and knock that guy back a little bit so he can learn how to view the world and not react to it because he's not leader material. Um, one day when they mature, they might be able to get some more responsi responsibilities around the house, but that's up to the humans, okay? Right now, they just gotta follow.